Ah, nothing like the old masters, is there? The Sleeping Venus. This masterwork by Giorgione is perhaps one of the finest examples of Renaissance oil paintings. Although the reclining nude widely embodies high art today, this is the painting that started it all. Many scholars consider this to be not only one of the foundational works of Western painting, but perhaps the most shockingly beautiful pieces of art ever created. What first captures your eye is the overall composition, the pastoral scene, the clear sky, the idyllic village, all rendered tenderly and exquisitely, a veritable Eden. And then, of course, Venus. Ah, Venus, so symbolic, so allegorical, so pure, so divine, and yet so human, the perfect woman. She's enraptured millions, inspired generations of artists, and been scrutinized in unblinking detail. As she slept, we have judged her every pore. To quote Cindy Friedberg, she is the perfect embodiment of Giorgione's dream. She dreams his dream herself. Notice how Venus's repose is mirrored by the landscape while also standing in contrast to it. The overall effect is a certain vitality, a certain liveliness, a certain full-bodiness of character. Words fail. Not that the Sleeping Venus has been without controversy. Peasants have often tried to censor the purity of Giorgione's work with rudely placed fig leaves, sometimes even going so far as to cover the Venus entirely. Yet, even a single leaf, a single leaf, would destroy Giorgione's delicate image, corrupt Venus's beauty, turn the painting into something shameful and debased and ugly. No, a covered sleeping Venus is no sleeping Venus at all. But what then do we make of her much debated hand? Is that just where it fell as she was slumbering there? Or in the hand, is Giorgione hinting at something more profound? Homer, the fall of man, we will never know. Mystery is what makes the sleeping Venus so alluring. You can only know her through prolonged and exhaustive study. And although some claim it was Titian, not Giorgione, who was responsible for much of the work, does the man behind the art really matter? For true scholarly appreciation, though, you really must look more closely. The artist's deft hand and clarity of mind only reveals itself in intimate study. Masterful. I've studied this painting for years and yet never tired of looking upon it, for I find that no matter how I'm feeling, the sleeping Venus always makes me feel better. It's almost as if she were painted for me. This is Giorgione's immortal triumph. This is the painting from which all reclining nudes blossomed. This is the foundation of our Western artistic tradition. This, this right here, this is art.